Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be doing a little more advanced graphic designing. And I like to call this effect the shoe paint effect. Now as you can see I have a little folder made right here on my desktop with all the stuff that you need to make this effect. But before I show you guys everything that you need, let me show you guys what the final effect is going to look like. So after watching this tutorial you should end up with a design that looks something like this. I took the pink droppings and I pretty much made them merge into the shoe and it looks like the pink droppings are slowly making the shoe. Now the effect is really cool but it will take some time and some practice to make. So to make things easier for you guys I made that folder with everything that you need. And you can download that folder, the link to the folder will be in the video description and once you have it downloaded you should have a couple things. You should have a shoe PSD file. Um, you could use any shoe that you want, but I included the PSD file of this shoe because I already have it cut out and everything for you guys. So you could use that if you want. I got this shoe from suprafootwear.com. Next, you need some paint tossings. And these paint tossings are brought to you by mediamilitia.com. If you head into that folder, you'll see there are about 20 paint tossings, and you could use this for your shoe. And then we also have a twinkle image right here. I'm also using that in the shoe. We have a final JPEG image so you guys could show it off and then a final PSD so you guys could open it up and see exactly what I did. Now that's all you need to get this started and to make this effect. Now with all that being said, download it and once you have completed that download, open the shoe and let's get started. When I first got the image of the shoe, it was on a white background, exactly like this, and I needed to cut it out. So the first thing that I did is I selected the magnetic lasso tool and I cut it out and I got something that looks like this. After cutting it out, I noticed that the shoe had lines in the gray area. And obviously, paint doesn't just form lines automatically on its own. So what I needed to do is I needed to get rid of those lines so it looks more believable because it's a solid color. So I selected the clone stamp tool and I got rid of those lines and I got something that looks like this. After getting rid of the lines, what I did is I selected the pen tool and I pretty much just went around the gray area and selected that and boosted its brightness to get a lighter gray, which looks like this. And then after I pretty much boosted the brightness overall um, of the shoe to make it shine a little more, and I got this. And then I added a shadow to it. And if I put that on a black background, you can see that shadow right there. So that's it for the shoe. Now once you have the shoe cut out, let's take this shoe and drag it into a new image and let's get started on the actual effect. So I made a new image with a width of 960 pixels and a height of 540 pixels. And I dragged that shoe into the center of the image. What I also did is I added a background gradient. So let's take a look at that gradient overlay. On the far left, I added a solid black color. And then maybe about one fourth or one fifth of the way to the right, I added another solid black color. These two have the hex code of 0000000. 000 000 000. And then not too far from that, I added a dark gray color with the hex code of 282828. And then all the way to the far right, I added a darker gray color with a hex code of 171717. So now let's press OK to all of these, and we have this background gradient. So now with that gradient set and the shoe in the center, we want to get started and open the paint tossings to add to the shoe. So let's go to File, Open, and let's head into that Shoe Paint Effect folder. And then let's head into that medium militia paint tossings folder. And now we could choose from 20 different paint tossings. And from now on, it's pretty much up to you to choose which paint tossings you think will fit into your shoe the best. I already have two open as examples. So I have 15.jpg and 2.jpg open. I don't want to do all of the paint tossings because that would take forever, but I just have two of them open as an example. So 15.jpg is already isolated from its background. I went ahead and already did that. So now I could just click and drag it onto the main image. But 2.jpg isn't open. It's not free from its background. So what we're going to do is double click on the background layer to make sure that it's unlocked. And then once it's unlocked, let's select the magic wand tool and click on the black or white background and just press the delete button. And just like that, it's isolated from its background. So now what we want to do is press command D or control D if you're on Windows. And what that's going to do is deselect it. And then we could choose the pointer tool and pretty much just click and drag this onto our new image. I already have them set for you guys. Once you haven't clicked and dragged, they should look something like this. What you want to do is press Command T or Control T if you're on Windows and make it the size that you want and make it um, the way that you want, um, the angle that you want. 
and you want to make it fit into the shoe the best that it can. And I already have both of those fit into the shoe the way I want them. Once you have it fit into the shoe, you want to choose the eraser tool with the hard brush and just erase it so it fits into the shoe even better so it looks something like this. Now this is where it starts to look a little more believable because it looks like it's making the shoe. But now what we want to do is change the color so it matches the color of the shoe. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, I already changed the color of one of them to blue so it looks like it's matching into the shoe. And what we want to do is change the color of the second one. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Make sure that you have that layer selected. And then go to Image, Adjustments, and click on Gradient Map. And then let's click on this gradient map image and let's set the gradient map. On the far left, we want to double click on that and set the hex code of 787878 and press OK. And then on the far right, we want to double click on that and set a hex code of C7, C7, C7 and press OK, press OK, press OK. And now we have this. Now it looks even more believable. And for the last step, you want to choose the eraser tool again with a soft brush and pretty much just merge it into the shoe better. So, so now it looks like it's fading into the shoe. So this is what you should have. Now you want to add more and more paint tossings until you get something like this. And this is the step where you're almost done. And as you can see, I also opened up this twinkle image and dragged that onto um, into the center of the shoe and that just gives it a cooler effect and it makes it look different. So now what you want to do is pretty much erase the parts of the shoe that you don't need. These parts are the parts that the paint hasn't made yet. So once you have done that, just choose the eraser tool and just erase those parts of the shoe and you should get something that looks like this. And we are done. The last thing that I did is, let me zoom in here, and what I did is I added just a white inside of the shoe because I made the paint over here white so it looks like it's making the inside of the shoe. And that's pretty much it. We are now done with this design and I added another tutorial by octotoots.com as a finishing touch. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick overview of how I made this design. Now go ahead, download that folder and make something that looks cool like this. Or heck, don't even use a shoe. Use a person or even a car and make something really cool with this same effect. So that's it for this video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Until next time, I will see you guys later.